Okay, YouTube, um, here I am back again with another server series, and like I promised you, I'm going to do a DNS in Mac OS X and server before we did Windows 2003 server, and I'm going to quickly show you how to do uh, set up a DNS server in Mac OS X server. Um, as far as I know, um, I do not know about 10.5 server. As you can see, this is my Power Mac, or, well, you can't see, but this is what my Power Mac is running. Um, so yes, um, we're going to go ahead and go down and into the server admin software. There we go. And let's do that. Okay, so here we are with the list of services. Um, just for crafts and giggles, I'll show you what I'm running. Uh, I have P server, firewall, of course, open directory server, a web server, which I really don't use. It's just just for testing and Windows uh, service. So we're gonna go up here in the DNS, and as you can see, it is stopped. So just bring it down, come to settings. Um. And what you need is you want to have allow zone transfers and we uh, allow recursion. Go ahead and go into zones, and here's where you're going to name, um, you know, the server. So here we go. We can the zone name is what the actual domain name is. It can be Google.com, but just keep in mind if you name your server do Google.com, you won't be able to access Google.com, the real website. So, um, just for giggles, we'll just do example.com. And you have to put a period after, like that. And then there's a server name. This will create a subdomain. You can put www, and that will create www.example.com. But let's just say DNS1. It's our first DNS server. Um, and then you can click the IP address or you can click other and insert an IP address here. Obviously you need to click one, but I would just use this one. And then go ahead and save that. Um we'll go over to machines. And we'll add a machine. Okay, we'll type in the IP address of my Mac Mini. And then we'll say mini. So the full domain name is mini.example.com com for my Mac Mini. And then you can add aliases like um, www. So I believe that would make it www.mini.example.com. Um, you can create a mail server for the zone. Uh, personally, I wouldn't do that, but it's your choice. And then that is basically. It. You can have secondary zones and that will basically go in and let's you know, say open DNS. I'm not exactly sure what the I know this one. Um I don't I, that's not open DNS, but I know that's a DNS server right there, so basically this will go and download information from another domain name server. So you can have faster web access. And I think it's gonna download right now. If you look at this right here. Okay. That's enough of that. We'll go ahead and that's really it. That's all you need to do, create a domain name server. It's very simple but it does so much if you want to set up an open directory server which I'll be explaining in the next one at least okay just click start service it's something oh. there we go it's now running and like I said before you have to go in and configure the clients to use the new DNS server you just go in and say 192.168.1.220 and 
them my second domain server. Obviously right now I won't have two domain servers, I'll just disable this one after this video. Now if we go ahead and go into terminal. And we go and type in ping mini dot example dot com. It'll ping my the correct IP address right there. And then if I go ping dns one dot example dot com, it'll ping itself with the correct IP address. So that's just a short video of how to do um a DNS server in Mac OS 10 server. Um the client is kinda hard because it has everything you need, it just doesn't have a GUI interface to it. So make it very hard for um people I don't want to say noobs but normal people who wanna check this out uh to configure it. So I would suggest um, getting OS X server, or you can get Ubuntu server and look that up, or even Ubuntu desktop and just install the right stuff. If I find a article on that, I will post it in the side over there. That way. So thank you for watching, and that's pretty much all there is to it.